why TBC was the deal. Now, I've done a video the other day talking about Dominic Brazil, and I thought a fight with him and Andy Ruiz Jr. makes a lot of sense because both of the guys are rated by two of the sanctioning bodies in their top 15. Um, but I'm on the premierboxingchampions.com, and I did not know that Chris Ariola had a fight towards the end of April with Dominic Brazil. I didn't see it posted anywhere. I just happened to go to the site and just see some some news on PBC. And uh, it was supposed to be, Chris, you know, Chris Ariola versus Dominic Brazil in a veteran versus prospect heavyweight clash. Um, but it's postponed because Ariola breaks his ankle and he postponed the fight. Um, so he went on to say, I, I wish I had a good story, but I literally just stepped wrong. Ariola said of the injury he sustained March 3rd when he stepped out of his car at home. Between the concrete and the grass, it was uneven, and I just rolled it. All right, doctors confirmed that Chris Ariola suffered a spiral fracture, putting him out of commission for four to five weeks. He expects to reschedule the fight with unbeaten heavyweight <clears throat> Dominic Brazil for the end of June or early July. Afterwards, suffering injury, Ariola went out and got a walking boot, crutches, and a scooter as precaution. All I have to do is stay off the foot and keep the boot on. I didn't even have to get a cast, he said. <clears throat> I'm not bummed. I'm glad it's just a break that it's not ligaments or tendons. I was more worried about ligaments and joints in the foot. I've got weights. I've got things I can do around the house. Just because I can't walk don't mean I can't do nothing. <clears throat> and I agree with that. Just because you have an injury, there are other things you can work on. Um, so... I'm glad he's not going to let his body just completely rest because for, you know, big guys, for us big guys, sometimes, you know, a body at rest stays at rest. You know, you want to keep your body in motion. Um, I'm not expecting him to go, you know, uh, do anything too strenuous, but still you can get on the floor, do some crunches some sit up something, man. Just don't be stagnant. But I didn't even know this fight was made. You know, I didn't hear anybody on the YTBC talk about it. I didn't see anything on boxing scene or fight news. I didn't see anything about this at all. So um, I don't know if they just, you know, PBC didn't announce it yet and they were going to. And then Ariella just got hurt. But I did not know about this fight. I'm just getting it out there that this fight is canceled and they're going to reschedule June or July. Um, should be an interesting fight. We know that, uh, you know, Dominic Brazil had his fight with the Mayor Mansoor. Now, we can argue that, uh, you know, Brazil was losing that fight before he stopped Amir Mansour, but he was coming on in that fight, and he he showed me a lot because he, he went down the third round, and he got up, and, uh, you know, he's a tough kid, man, former football player. He's a, he's a tough kid. I know a lot of people don't really like Dominic Brazil, his style. They think uh, he just doesn't look the part to some fans, but, you know, he's 6'7", 82-inch reach, 260-pounder, man, so... Should be an interesting fight with Chris Ariola. Even though I'm, I'm looking at Box Rec right now, even Box Rec didn't even have the fight scheduled. You know, so um, I definitely want to see the fight. I definitely do think it is a uh, cross world type of fight because Ariola's on his last leg here as far as getting title shots and big opportunities. He was supposed to get the shot with uh, Deontay Wilder um, had he beat Fred Cassie, but that was a draw. So then instead of getting Wilder, they gave the fight to Spilka. And then he ended up fighting Travis Kaufman in another fight that I thought he lost. And then Ariola, uh, he won that fight, but the uh, or it was a draw. I'm sorry, the fight was a draw. Or I'm sorry, he won a majority decision. And then the fight was changed to a no decision after he failed a drug test. I heard it was marijuana, but some other people were telling me that uh, it was more than marijuana. So yes, he got the victory over Kaufman. I thought Kaufman won the fight by one point but two judges gave it to Ariola. but i thought he lost but um and then curtis harper that fight went back and forth he put harper down but harper got up and fought a valiant fight and then the stavern fight he lost i mean he did uh bum rush and blow out seth mitchell but just peaks and valleys in his career man dips and everything in his career but um i want to see the fight when it gets made i didn't know about the fight so i'm just getting this news out there um to ytbc I'm out.